What do you think of when you hear the word prayer? Or what image comes to mind when you think about praying? Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. And I imagine a lot of people have an image of someone closing their eyes, bringing their hands together, and maybe kneeling. At least that's how I remember being taught to pray when I was growing up and knelt next to my bed for my night prayers. And prayer was pretty much saying prayers or asking God to bless certain people. But today's saint, who happens to be one of my favorites because he had a great sense of humor, gives us another idea of prayer. St. Philip Neri, who's known as the second apostle of Rome and lived in the 16th century, said something that I've found very helpful. You see, I think a lot of people struggle with prayer, and I think they can be helped by being more creative. How? Well, for one thing, prayer should be more than us doing all the talking. It should include listening. But how do you listen? Is God going to say something the way I am right now and you're listening to me? No, you're not going to hear voices in prayer when you listen to God, but God can speak to you through what you read. And a good spiritual book, say a life of a saint or other heroic Christian, can be one of the ways that God will speak to you. Here's how St. Philip Neri put it. The best preparation for prayer is to read the lives of the saints, not from mere curiosity, but quietly and with recollection, a little at a time, and to pause whenever you feel your heart touched with devotion.